When it comes to taking care of cars and homes, most Minnesotans think they know exactly how to handle these cold temperatures. But the advice your grandpa gave you doesn't always stand the test of time. ABC6 News reporter John Detcott called around today to find out the top things people do that may actually be hurting more than helping. Some problems can start before we even leave the house. Garage doors can take a real beating, especially during periods of thawing and refreezing, when the bottoms of the doors can become frozen to the ground. Some people actually just keep pressing that button, hoping that something will give, but that can actually damage the upper portions of the door. Experts say you should keep the bottoms of the doors clear and keep the joints lubricated and the motors maintained to keep everything working as it should. But if you're like me, you don't have the luxury of a garage and have to wake up to that cold, cold car. Now, a lot of people, when they're going to work in the morning, want to start their car and let it idle for 20, even 30 minutes to get it nice and warm. But experts say you should really only start it for about 5 to 10 minutes. Otherwise, you run the risk of running that battery dead. Experts also say that if you try to start your car and find that it's dead, you should really get it charged right away because leaving a battery with no charge in it can actually freeze and break. And that will cost you a lot more in the long run. And when it comes to that most precious cargo, children, many parents rightly bundle them up against the cold, but then leave them vulnerable once inside the car. Experts say you need to remove a child's winter coat when buckling them into a car seat, or the puffy jacket can create space between the restraints and make kids more susceptible to serious injury in the event of a violent crash. Organizations like AAA suggest covering children with their jackets or blanket once they're in the car seat to keep them both safe and warm.